Welcome to the Sharper Edge Bible Study Series. This is a series of short lessons giving you topical information in the form of Bible verses concerning the different topics that we will be studying. Currently, this lesson is Truth. Additionally, you will find lessons concerning the other topics that you see on your screen. If you'd like to receive video information concerning each of these topics, then I recommend that you subscribe to the Mel Berglund YouTube channel. And you can do that by clicking on my little icon down in the lower right hand corner of the screen or clicking on the red word subscribe that you also see on your screen throughout this series. Truth, it's the new hate speech. During times of universal deceit, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act. Let us begin. On your screen, you will notice the verses that we will be looking at in this short video. There are keywords and also notes that you can um, follow along with to help you in your study. Let's begin. Second Thessalonians 2.13 But we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. Jesus said, You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. And from this verse, we get the name for the series, Sharper Edge. It's learning to use the sword of the Spirit effectively. Jesus said, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. For their sakes I sanctify myself, that they also might be sanctified through the truth. Jesus also said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father, but by me. That they all might be damned, who believe not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Who changed the truth of God into a lie? Who worship and serve the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever? Amen. Now as Janus and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth, men of corrupt minds, reprobate concerning the faith. For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. For I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Wherefore, I will not be negligent to put you always in remembrance of these things, though you know them, and be established in the present truth. To whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour, that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel, unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. And if any man shall take away 
from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life, out of the holy city, and from the things which are written in this book. I have not written unto you because you know not the truth, but because you know it, and that no lie is of the truth. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. I would encourage you now to go back and highlight these verses in your Bible. You will notice the color on the top of each of these studies would indicate the color that you could use for highlighting your Bible. Additionally, share this study with someone. Copy the YouTube link, post it on your social media sites, email it to your friends, and do not forget subscribe to the Bell Berglund YouTube channel and receive all of our videos.